Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome back to Undertale, which just crashed. Well, that's a great start. So, I'm going to explain everything before I actually hop into the game. I have right here all of the fun value events that you can get on the genocide run, which is exactly what we're going to be going through right now. And I've also got the initialization file right here. Uh, line 15 has this little thing here called fun, and we are going to be changing this value right here. Basically, every time we are about to encounter a fun value scenario. There are a few that we can't encounter. Strangely, the guest of followers we can't do on a genocide run, but what we can do is find the mystery man. So strangely, there is already a bit of a dichotomy with the fun value things because a lot of people are saying that they're exclusively guester events and such based on how frequent guester events actually pop up. But unfortunately, uh, they only appear in two different, completely different play styles. So... We're not going to be able to see Guest as followers, but we are going to see the Mystery Man, and by that evidence alone, we can probably extrapolate that the Mystery Man is not actually Gaster. On top of that, we don't know if the fun values here are even canon. So I'm going to take a look at them anyway. I think, I'm pretty sure that the fun values are all cut content, but we will kind of, we'll, we'll take it at face value as we see them, and then we'll just kind of let them meld for a bit. All right, let's hold enter. Good, Undertale. I'm ready. I'm ready to start a brand new spanking game. Let's spank. Hope everybody here is ready for a good spanking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do true reset, which is not what I did last time. I actually deleted my save last time. So I'm gonna hit this, and now we wanna name our fallen human. We are going to name them a secret name for a bunch more lore. If we name our character Kara, then we get lots and lots of nice, little lore tips. And we all want lore, don't we? I found you from your My Eyes Deceive Let's Play and I saw because the general content style and commentary was cool and a few hours later you played Little Misfortune. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Chara. So, um, I'm, I know it's like a lot of people believe it's short for character, but I, I, I want to see what this character is like because I believe she's evil. We have to actually see it first to believe it though. The true name. Okay, so... I'm going to point this out as soon as we start. There should be kind of like an, a cutscene where the character falls down a hole. No, never mind. So in that cutscene, there is a single stripe on the shirt in the, in the intro cutscene on the character that falls down the hole. So we know immediately that that was Kara and we are actually playing as a different character who, much like in Deltarune, I theorize that this character is literally just a conduit for the narrative of the game. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we've named ourselves Kara, and we have two stripes on our shirt. This should remind everybody enough of us to kind of get some backstory. Hello there, Flowey. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? That's so loud, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and turn that down to a reasonable uh, 300 decibels. This time, please avoid every bullet sent... You can't! We've already tried that. We tried that in the blind playthrough, and every time he, like, throws a few of them at you, and you dodge them, he just throws more over and over again. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts up weak, but you can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Okay, I'll try dodge it lots. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness palettes. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Flower. I think I think I whiffed that. Hey, it's changing. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Uh, uh. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Uh. I didn't see this! I didn't see this in the blind playthrough! This has got to be like a, uh, a New Game Plus thing, right? You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Joy! <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to die. It's kind of funny that Toriel saves us, isn't it? Because 
because from the from the, the the pacifist playthrough, we know exactly who that is. And if Toriel knew who that was, probably wouldn't have used a fireball against him. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if someone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay. Let's follow, mother. Toriel. Mother Toriel. You just wanted to see me suffer? You only just tried to murder me on the spot? Yeah, true. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save. Every time we're about to approach a fun value area, I'm going to close the game, edit the file, and then we're going to fire it back up, okay? Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the ruins. Okay, good. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between dark and light. One must solve them to move through the rooms. To make progress here, okay, I'm just gonna skip this tutorial, right? Because we've already seen this about four times. We don't need to see it again. You. And we're also nowhere near a fun value place. All right, she's proud of us, excellent. Maybe she'll embrace us in her bosom. Her hairy, furry bosom. Excellent. Hey, you know what I learned yesterday? Did you guys know that cats have nipples? Like eight nipples? You encountered the dummy. Okay, we're gonna fight it. Boop. They've got lots and lots of nipples. Even, even male cats have eight nipples. It's so strange. And they're like scattered around their chest. Super creepy. 12 nipples, I believe. But I, I, I don't know about that. I didn't exactly like lean down and count. All right, she wants us to solve this next room. I'm coming, Doriel. Okay, we've been attacked. We are going to murder this frogger. Do we get him? Yeah, one hit, nice. We got 10 experience and 20 gold and our love increase. Wonderful. Toriel just watched that happen too. Okay, good. We'll skip through this. What a girl, huh? What a girl. I love how she holds our hand. So we are currently reminding her of the first human that fell down here, Kara. And I've got a couple of theories that I'll just kind of like touch on as we see them. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for me now. Yeah, don't they just? You've done excellently thus far. I would like you to move to the end of the room without my help. Okay, this is hard. This is a really, really hard one. This is probably actually the hardest section of the game. Gotta be said. Soundtrack still slaps. You are right, I got confused with dogs. Yeah, I know, I know, I know how to count nipples. I know how to count nipples. I've even got two myself. I know some people with three. Okay, good. Skipping through all of this. So I don't think we get anything necessarily lore-wise through here, right? Now, we did just get a cell phone, right? We did just get a cell phone. Could this be Gaster's cell phone? Because there is a fun value event that allows us kind of like maybe hear from somebody. Whoops, forgot to uh, do that. All right, good. Hi there, Connor Carlson. How are we today? We're just doing some genocide today. Uh, we're going to take all of the candy. My mum has a third collarbone, if that's relevant. How? <laughs> take one. We're going to take another one. You took more candy. How disgusting. Take one. Take a candy. Yes. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Awesome. The candy spills onto the floor. We've ruined it for everybody else. Look at what you've done. That's fine. I'm pretty happy with what we've done, honestly. Is there a secret behind here? No. No, there is not. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do a save because we just got four bits of candy and that's awesome. We're also gonna try and collect every uh, item in the game as well. Okay, that's a one hit. I know, oh, or not. No, not flies. What? <laughs> Slipped them like a pro. Nice. Okay, we won. We got three experience and two buckery boos. That is literally nothing. So we've had a few fights already, haven't we? We wanna go down here. And we want to ignore this area. We just want to speed on through, don't we? This one time I broke a bone by throwing myself onto my couch. I once broke a uh, bone in my ass by swinging on a rope swing, but the rope broke right at the apex, and I, I flew like about four meters into a uh, into a sand well, not a sandbag, uh, a bit kind of like a dirt wall. I had to sleep in a sleeping bag for about three months. So yes, I've busted ass before. What are you gonna do? Okay, we're fighting spikes. Whimson, prepare to die. Oof. There we go. That was a nice little crit right there. 
Two experience and two gold. Sucks to be that guy. Ring, ring. Hello. Okay, apparently we don't have any allergies, which is good to know. But how would we know if we are a child? Okay, I'm going to come all the way down here. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go all the way to these leaves, all the way down and up and through. Excellent. Now we want to push all of these rocks over. You did research how to do this run before right hand, right? Yes, yes I did. I did it live on stream as well. All right, let's attack the Whimson because we can one hit him with an excellent crit right there. Nice. Meow, says the frog. No, he most certainly does not. Okay. Boop. Is that a crit? Straight down the head, almost, crow crow. That's a lot more in keeping with a frog, I would say. Probably a bit more thematically relevant to a frog. All right, we won and we got five experience and four gold. Nice. Okay, one, two, and we have to talk to this rock, don't we? Great observation. What, the, uh, how I broke my ass? Or is it the eight nipples thing? Okay, thank you, rock. All right, this guy's absolutely insane. Good old Dwayne the Rock Johnson, trolling us like crazy. All right, let's push on through. So, knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. I also feel like we, the player, are the mouse who never leaves its hole. That frogs don't say meow. Yeah, well, I, uh, I, I went to school once. I'm actually gonna really quickly just minimize the game. And we're going to take a look at the fun values. So we actually need to enter this in about now. There is literally no better time to do so. We just saved. Let's go ahead and ult F4 out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my uh, initialization file because I'm pretty sure it's a different one. So I'll go into my app data. Whoops. Right here. Go to local, of course, and Undertale right here. Very good. Undertale dot any, any. Okay, uh, we want to open it with Sublime because that's my favorite text editor right here. I'm actually just gonna tick this file right there too. Okay, so this is our current file. We rolled a 67, which would have given us nothing. <laughs> it would have literally given us nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to five or 10. I'll keep it double digits just to, Make it a little bit more relevant. And when we get to the Snowden boatman spot, we should get a fun value. What's my dingle? Sound good? I think that sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be doing this a couple of times, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be doing that a bunch. It's going to happen a bunch. Okay, here we go. Continue. See how fast we can get into the game now? All right, we've got the Napster Bluke, I think his name is. He's doing some Zs. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. We're going to have to move with force. There's literally no other way around it. If your fun value is 69421, then Gaster will say, where my hug at and hit the gritty. That is not true. Did you know you can download mods on Undertale on the computer? You can play multiplayer if you download the right mod on Steam. I did not know that. I did not know that. No, but it doesn't surprise me. This game has been out for almost a decade. Okay, we want to... Do we want to fight this guy? I don't think we can actually damage him without... Oh, never mind. We can. Oh, he's doing a bunch of crying. What a wanker. Ah, oh, damn it. We took a hit. That's fine, actually. Oh. I'm loving the swing jazz. Okay, he's not feeling up to it now. He did apologize, which is kind of nice. We are still trying to kill him. There we go. He's fine, thanks. Oh, oh I can slip all these. Easy. Easy clap. Oh. Give him a wee boop on the nose with a weapon. All right, he just said he's fine and then thanked us. I'm just gonna stay at the side over here. And one more, maybe two more actually. Uh, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sorta of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. We beat him, we killed him, we did it. Is me and Red Rux the only one here? No, highly not. What are your thoughts on the Asriel boss? Really cool. That is a really cool boss. For like a complete story and a resolution, I do really like the pacifist run. Wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah, this is the spider bake sale, isn't it? So we don't actually want to buy anything off of them because we want to kill Muffet. The sexy spider. 
Hello there, Froggit. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling. I literally just use Alt Enter. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you say quite... I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster with yellow name. You can spare it. Useless information. Useless information. We're not going to be using that whatsoever. Let's try and roll for some uh, fights in here. Okay. Is that a one hit? No, it is not. All right. They're throwing some, uh, oh, they're throwing shade at us. A little bit of shade. Good. And now we're going to take out this mold. Whoop. Is that it? Yes. The mold is dead. He's dancing for some reason. Does he not know that I'm here to slay him? What an idiot. Whoop. That was a direct crit as well. Hmm, cha-cha-cha. This attack cycle sucks. Hi, hello there, Astro Sans 20. Hello, humans. Hello there, Papyrus. My boss doesn't have a cure in the world. All right, let's go ahead and slash. Nice. I slashed him like a Guns N' Roses reference. We all know about the the reason Slash has the name Slash, right? If anyone didn't know, Slash from Guns N' Roses got the name Slash because he would get so drunk that he'd pee himself. When slash is, is kind of like a, a crude word for taking a whiz. Doing wee-wees. Ring, ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. Oh, well, I do not care. All right, I'm not seeing any... I'm not seeing any new dialogue. I'm not sure if we actually get any new dialogue before, uh, before we leave. I random tool skeleton? Yes, good observation. Okay, let's slay this eyeball right here. Please don't pick on me. Well, I'm, I might not pick on you, but I most certainly will murder- Oh, damn it, we took that one right in the face. Whoop. Give him a little boop right on his eye. What an eyesore. Yes, it is, isn't it? I'm just gonna stand this corner right here. What's this watering? Ah, oh, well, suck to be him. Whoop. Nice. Another crit straight in the face. Got seven experience and five buckery booze. Great. Has Toriel done a slash? I don't know. If she processes liquids like most of us, I am pretty sure that she would have done a slash of some sort. I'm sorry, I definitely just saw Flowey pop into the ground when you turned back. I didn't see that. And I'm pretty sure this guy didn't see it either, even though he's literally... His sole function is to be able to see things. Okay, and boop. Missed that crit, but we got a pretty good attack on him. Whoa, what the hell are these? Are these supposed to be like the floaty bits in your vision? You know how you... When you're tired or dehydrated, you get like floaty bits in your vision. They've got a name. I forgot what they were. I'm just gonna farm up all of the attack. Uh, yeah, go, uh, what's my dingles here, I think. I'm gonna do it in, in full vision of these two frogs. Human, I can't watch this because Sans is telling me to cover my eyes. Seriously, did no one else see that? Floaters? No, they've actually got like a medical name. There, there is actually a medical name for those, those floaters. These are floaters though, right? They're, they're, oh, whoops, we took one of those. That's what they're supposed to be. Whoop. Give him a wee boop right on his eyeball. Okay, I'm just gonna hide up here. No, I'm not. <laughs> and we have killed him. Woo. Nice, you won. So we're pretty close to Toriel's, well, I mean, we can get pretty close to Toriel's fight. I don't know if there's gonna be multiple encounters in each room. Actually, we can probably progress onwards, like, right? Because there's still two vegetables that we need to fight down south when we fall down some holes. And literally this room right here. So I'm going to go down into this one right here first. Because we want this item right here. You found a faded ribbon! Yes, and we're going to use it right this goddamn second. Done! You equip the ribbon. Excellent. Let's go up the stairs right here. And we want to go into all of these rooms. Make sure we've kind of cleared them all out. There's a vegetable. Okay, let's murder this thing. Are you going to be playing Undertale Yellow next or Delta Traveler when it comes to Underoon things? I don't know, they're both quite popular. Possibly! Quite possibly! Right, let's go get and fight this bastard. To find enemies more easily, just go to the wall and press up and down. Okay, thanks Hypercake! Oh! I wasn't looking at the screen. Okay, I accidentally just ate a vegetable. Yuck. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. That's gross. I think he just peed himself. Out of a balanced diet! Okay, this is a memory game. I like that one, that one's a freebie. It's fun. It's a fun freebie. Okay, I'm gonna slash this carrot straight down its face. Make some carrot sticks. You know what would go well with that carrot? Some hummus. I wonder if there's any way of making hummus in this game. Is there any like creature that's kind of like garlicky based? I know there's an onion creature who we could probably turn into some kind of nice jus or a soup. 
or maybe even a bisque. But I'm just not entirely sure about the uh, the relevancy of garlic. Because if we can make a hummus, I will. I will make a hummus out of any creature in this planet. Okay, and whoop. that wall and go up and down thing is that actually like an acceptable exploit? Okay, good. I dodged all of them. Whoop. Nice, 34 straight to the face. That is gorgeous. Excellent. And now we are done. This one guy in my school played class of 09 once and adopted Nicole's entire I don't give a damn personality and it's so annoying. What, Nicole, uh, 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 what's her name? It's like, she was like a, a Paris Hilton knockoff, wasn't she? Where you can play the Mew Mew secret boss that ex is exclusively on the Switch as there is a port for the boss on Game Jolt. Maybe, maybe I'll do that in this session. Uh, sorry, this playthrough. Because we do kind of want genocide, don't we? Burble burb. Are we even gonna get hit if we just like stay here and don't move? No. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good, we've taken care of the flan. Now we are going to take care of this bug doing his little dance right there. And whoop. 25 straight to the face, that's uh, quite a bit of damage right there. Quite a bit indeed. And now we want to swing our sword right into it. Done. Murder time! We got seven gold for that. Uh, there is another hole right here. Let's just explore it. There might be something down here. Maybe not. There's only one way of knowing. No, there was not. Okie dokie. At least we know. At least we know for a fact. Okay, so the first one is blue, right? It's a switch. Press it. Yas, queen. Nothing happened. Poos. Oh, no, it's just telling us where everything is. Okay. So now we hit this one. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Excellent. So we move onwards. I subbed. Thank you, Astro Sand Sweetie. If you can read this, press the red switch. Fine, I will do that. Is there any world where you can't read them? Or is it literally just kind of like a skill check to make sure you're older than like three years old? Because that's when I started learning how to read. If you can read this, press the green switch. That's the one in the middle right here. Done. Good. You hear a clucking sound. Excellent. And we are golden. Okay, we push onwards a little bit. We want to go this way, don't we? Because there's a nice little secret weapon up uh, yonder's path. Right here. Good. You found the toy knife. Now, I don't know whose knife this is. It's actually just like... Oh, my God! Hey, Astro Sands. Welcome to the BFD Division again. Weapon attack three made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Okay, so the monsters probably like banded together and decided, you know, let's do away with weapons and such, right? Because there aren't really many conventional weapons in this game. Hello humans, I am back. I can put it in the suggestions. Yeah, definitely put it in the game requests on Discord. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hello? How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay, and out we go. I'm going to kind of like farm out all of the encounters right here, I think. He got jump scared. Yeah, he did. He did. The alerts, I hear them like three times louder than anyone else, and they're kind of like done like that on purpose. Why are there no encounters in this room? Is this like a safe room? It feels like it's a safe room. Maybe it's been consecrated. Maybe we have to go back a little bit. This one, it probably isn't safe. Hi there, Burak. You can't find monsters in this room? Yeah, I had a hunch. I had a hunch. I don't know, Spaghettini. Uh, I know exactly how to get through these. How far back do we have to go for the monster encounters? Probably not too far back, right? You should press C and go to stats. I want to see how many monsters are left. Okay. There are... How... How would you know? How would you know? There are no monsters in that room. They're here. What, like in this room right here? Actually, how do we know how many monsters are left in a region? Because when I looked it up, all it had was a counter for like how many monsters are just like flat out in the, the zones. Do they change? Surely they don't change. Now nah, it doesn't really look like anything changes. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way back and we'll try and farm out every room. Unless somebody like directly tells me that yes, they're just zone restricted, not room restricted. Hi, I'm Yusup. Hello there, Sophia G. Kissy Face Rose. Oh wait, never mind, it only appears after. After what? 
<laughs> this genocide playthrough is basically blind. I just want to get all of the lore for Kara. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a save. Were there encounters in here? We haven't actually seen an encounter for a few rooms yet. Have we? Oh, who's? Oh, that, that actually gave me a jump scare. I forgot about all of this. Probably nothing down here. You're playing pacifist? No, this is genocide. This is 100% genocide as the stream is titled. I'm not sure how you missed that, to be quite honest. They aren't room restricted. Okay, I won't go all the way back then. I thought that was his own thing. So we just want to do all of this until we get the the infomercial that says, but nobody came, right? We were attached, but nobody came. Oh, don't know how I dodged that one. Good. Pacifist? That's what I named my uh, pacifist playthrough. He's passing his fist into other people's faces. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Go to the froggets room, stick to the wall, and press up and down at the same time. Wait, seriously? Does that actually work? Like, both up and down. Right here, okay. Oh, I can't do it on D-pad. Oh, I see! That's so goofy! Alright, anybody with epilepsy? Get out! Get out of the stream right now, because this is gonna trigger. I can't believe that actually works. That's so silly. Alright, let's go ahead and slam this guy right here. By the way, I did all three routes. I'm an expert, to be honest. Get out. Whoops. Wasn't looking at the screen. Whoa, we've got a lot of HP. Okay, uh, I have become a little bit of an expert as well. Simply because I had to research Toby Fox so extensively to get the uh, videos out of copyright hell. Which they still are. I'm still getting copyright claims on my videos, even after they release them manually. It's so annoying. It is, honestly, Toby Fox going with a content ID management company was probably the worst decision possible. Because now all of the music that he wanted to be essentially public domain, minus, you know, anyone that makes money off of it, is uh, kind of now restricted to the amount of content. I got one of my copyrights rejected yesterday, by the way. Someone made a copyright claim against one of my Undertale videos. I disputed it, citing Toby Fox's kind of like Twitter posts saying, hey, anyone can use my music for free, whatever you want. And it got goddamn rejected. That was so annoying. In the random, in the fandom, we call that the killer dance or the frisk dance. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I beat redacted and redacted. I have never fought redacted, nor have I fought redacted. I don't think. I'm not supposed to know who redacted is. I think that's, oh, damn it. I took that one straight to the face. Look, I'm taking all of the hits. <laughs> Watch me get the hoot with all of this HP. <laughs> I found the most random stuff on my For You page. First time genocide? It's the first time genocide is my fifth time playing the actual game itself, though. I tried to do genocide in the first run that I went through, but I don't think that I was able to kill enough enemies to kind of, like, justify going through with it right at the start of the game. Because I don't know. You might be talking about Jibble and Spamton. Yeah, I've been both of those guys. Jibble and Sp Oh, I've killed both of the froggets in here! Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do the frisk dance. We're getting frisky. You're going to get, you're going to fight Sans? Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. V Trust gets the E, yeah, it's the fresh FB, he screamed, he's. My dude, Happy, do you want me to call you an ambulance? Trust Weekend as far as attacks, okay. Ain't saying spoilers? Okay, Mr. Google. I have also beaten literally everything there is to see in Delta Rune so far, and I'm pretty excited for chapter 3 and 4 to come out too. This? Huh. Who's this guy? The Mycos just said, obey the hive mind. I don't know if there actually is a hive mind. Swing your arms, baby. Okay, the hive mind's telling him to dance. Happy dude, no spoilers. No, it's absolutely fine. Sounds like 10 out of 10 difficulty compared to Jevil or Spamton. Okay, so what is Jevil and Spamton's difficulty then comparing to Jevil and Spamton's difficulty? Is there like a scale? Because I'm, I'm thinking Pedro for scale or like banana for scale when you, when you guys say things like that. All right, we won. We got a bunch of money. I'm gonna get frisky with this wall right here. Oh yeah, I'm making this wall so damp. Nice, there's gonna be mold growing on it in the morning. Seven out of 10? What, like? Digitate, I'm open, mm hmm? Seven out of 10 is about right. What, like, so Spamton uh, compared to Jevil is like a seven out of 10 and Jevil compared to Spamton is like a seven out of 10 difficulty. Happy, are you literally just mashing, like, the, 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 
the suggested words at the top of the at the top of the uh, um, keyboard. Happy is not okay. Call him an ambulance. Happy, you are in fact an ambulance. I've decided. I'm so confused. <laughs> Here we go. We've got another looks right here. Excellent. Slam down the front of his face. Please don't pick on me. Too late, buddy, old pal. Oh, I've already decided that I'm going to be picking on everybody. Nice. It's a great idea, Jensen. I'll do that too. Good, yes. First time you were able and I didn't have a chance. I just got a tip from the doctor and I was like, oh, I don't have to go to work tomorrow because I'm going back home. Oh, that's good or bad. I haven't decided. You pick. Box the freezer. Okay, Happy is literally having a stroke. I think we are literally watching somebody in chat die in real time. Good gaming, hello there. Yes, hi. <laughs> I should point out to everybody, there is a 10 second latency in between when the chat comes through to me and when you actually get a response. The reason for this is because I'm using Wi-Fi to broadcast. Uh, dude, please do not spam. They use greed, yes it's hard, but oh my god, Happy. I think Happy is literally dying. That's fine, actually. That's probably actually really, really thematically correct for a genocide run. Monsters are taking more and more time to appear. We are close to killing every monster in the ruins. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Does it just kind of roll for encounters over and over again? And every time you defeat an encounter, it kind of removes that encounter from the, the pool? Is that how it works? Spamming is against the rules, dude? Yeah, it is against the rules. Uh, spammers are going to catch a ban. The only exception to this is literally spam tip. Because <laughs> it's the game. That's the game. That's taking ages up. Hi, I'd beat Undertale. Okay, prove it. Beat Undertale then. Hi. Okay, you're, you're getting muted there, Kid Gaming. That sucks. That sucks for you. Sorry, buddy. Oh God, I wish I could do that from my streaming software. Muting. User in timeout. There we go. I'll do it for half an hour. And if you catch it again, that's a permanent ban. Excellent. All right. But nobody came. Okay, so we've done this area. Perfect. So we can move on, right? Excellent. Bring my streaming software as well. Done. Spamton doesn't necessarily spam, despite his name. He kind of spams scams, doesn't he? But nobody came. Perfect. You all ready? Yes. The music has changed as well. Get your high stay isn't fun. Then... I don't know. Yeah, you can move on. Excellent. Okay, nobody's coming. Sucks to be them. We don't have to hit any switch in this room. So, can we do the uh, the frisk dance? Can we do that in any, like, wall? Oh, we can. Okay. Good to know. That is neat. Bro. Yes, hello there, Connor. Nobody came. So, this one is the red one? Yeah, it's the red one, isn't it? Let's hit this one. Actually, we've already done these puzzles. We can just go on through. If you speed up the song by, like, 120,000%, it's Flowey's song. Cool. I do like Flowey's song. All right, we're almost back at Toriel. She's probably going to be really disappointed with us for murdering everyone who lives in her zone, right? That is really... Uh, the black tree is so, so weird. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. So strange. Okay, determine... Wait, that's changed. Determination. Ah. I'm also going to get on the other side of the screen so that you guys can see all the NPC responses. Flowey follows you. She won't know. Ha, I knew it. Do you smell that? You can see him in a split frame. Really? All right, do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Is it murder? I'm going across the house. I'm gonna look for a weapon. How about this fire poker? The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Damn it! Damn it! The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Damn it! Everything's been child-proofed. It's as if all of this... Okay, let's eat this pie. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. I wonder if it's hotter than the fire, or if putting it in the fire will cool it down. <laughs> I knew I saw him pop into the ground. Is that actually a thing? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Uh, thanks. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. No, nothing is burning. I already checked. All right, lady. So, looking around here, there was nothing, right? We can turn this light off. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. So, Kara must have actually been with Toriel for a long time. Oh, that's right. This is how we get the pee, isn't it? The hot P. 
pea! And a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie! Wonderful. Okay, so... That's a nothing. There is a mirror at the, at the end of this house, isn't there? Astoriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes, has it changed? You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ah, uh, yuck. Yuck! Yucky! I'm also noticing the yellow flowers all around the place, so there may actually be the possibility that Toriel does actually know what happened to Asriel already. Okay, uh, just gonna point it out. Uh, no, never mind. Abby, maybe you should consider getting an extension on that few weeks if you're still interested. It's Huffer's husband's and his head is had, had thanks Justify has his D. All right, Happy, uh, you're about to catch a mute real soon as well. Yeah, bro, stop. Happy, are you okay? No, he's not. He's an ambulance. Hello there, Cory Cat. All right. The stroke is only in use for like 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, you'll catch a, you'll catch a mute. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books that I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't a very surprising. Still, I am only glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, I want to go home. What? This? This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, I want to leave. Happy? Okay. Happy, you're also getting a mute. Shameful. Shameful and embarrassing. What is going on here? Where are you? Uh, time out. 30 minutes. There we go. Dunyan rings. Happy support, I call mute. Yeah, no, already done. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Okay, uh, tell me how to leave. I have to do something. Stay here. Why does she want to know so much about the creatures she's eating? Actually, now that I say it out loud, that makes a lot of sense. It, it just makes so much sense. So we want to gap it out of the ruins, right? Because there's nothing else for us here. We've already murdered everything. The music down here is spooky. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Out of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! I will do no such thing, goat mother! Rip Happy? Yeah, Happy has succumbed to his stroke. I expedited his stroke. Did you know when the frogs puke, their stomach actually leaves the body? Ugh. Gross. They must be puking quite a lot if they're eating flies and stuff like that. I ate a fly once and it was disgusting. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I will do no such thing. I'm coming. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. If she's a goat, can you milk her? Happy is changing their username to sad. <laughs> you want to leave so badly? You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I can do that. We stole so much candy, we're going to be absolutely fine. What the hell? Oh, are you talking about milk? I'm from New Zealand. We can milk anything here. No, they're changing it to dead because they died of their stroke. Oh, poor, poor babies. Okay, let's go ahead and buy Toriel. I'm sorry, goat mother. Okay. You really hate me that much. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you, but them. Ah, that was my theory. That was my theory. Uh, she was keeping us there as the first line of defense. And then they start using violence. So if a human emerges from Toriel's house, then uh, the PSYOP didn't work. Ha. Ha. Wait, was that Kara's soul? Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Was that Kara's soul? That's got to be Kara's soul, though, right? I'm eating goldfish right now. 
I hope you cook them. Sans the DJ. Hello there, Sans the DJ. There's so many Sans. So many Sans watching these streams. That was creepy. But it confirmed everything, didn't it? That Wait, Toriel's soul persisted after death? No, no, I don't think so. We have not seen where Kara's soul went in any of the game so far. Not that kind of goldfish, tone it down. Okay, good. <laughs> Just eating the, the goldfish straight out of the bowl. That was Frisk's soul. We are Frisk. We, we are literally Frisk. Kara has a red soul. How do you guys know this? Is, is, cite your source. Is that actually something we see in the game? Because we see that Kara... No. We see that at the end of the chapter, there is a coffin with a red heart on it. We don't necessarily know if that's our, supposed to be our coffin because the lid is off of it or if it is actually Kara's coffin. Toriel is a boss monster, so her soul lasts a bit before disappearing. Actually, that is a really, really good point. Ha ha ha. You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, you're Kara, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all powerful, even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world! Everyone! Everything in these worthless memories! Let's turn them all into dust! That's a wonderful idea! Ooh. Ooh. Carousel was absorbed by Asriel and then they were killed, so Carousel is most likely broken already. Yeah, but they persist. The coffin in Asgore's basement is Kara's coffin because it has their name. Mr. Giggle, we met again. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to persist. Let's see if we can't get a, a, a little bit more context. Because here's the thing. I'm like 50-50 on whether or not Kara is actually just an evil person or if her entire intent was to kind of prevent the rest of the world from being destroyed by Asriel in the first place. And if all of this is confusing, I've got two playthroughs on my channel, a blind playthrough where we got the neutral ending, and we also got a uh, true pacifist ending. Go watch those. Because uh, basically from here on out, it's Spoiler City. Ish, Spoiler City. This is still a blind run through of the, oh, we want the stick, don't we? It's still a blind run through of the uh, genocide run. Okay, it's too heavy to pick up. No, we don't want the stick because we want to kill. We want to kill Doggo. Okay. We should be approaching him. Oh, there was Sans in the background. Stalking us. Uh, thanks to Scott pointing out that Flowey is stalking us, I should be a lot more vigilant when we go through the scenes from now on. You can't take that big branch because Sans has to break it to be spooky. That's very nice. By the way, if you come back, you may see flower. Maybe. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Do it! Shake his hand. <laughs> Fuzz! <laughs> Whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's uh, you're cute to laugh. I did laugh. Or uh, to emote at all. There we go. Done. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them, huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. I think it's a visual barrier, isn't it? Quick, find the conveniently shaped left. I'm also going to do all the dialogue now because it might be new dialogue. Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. It's already different! Have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Well, we. I guess that's settled. <laughs> well, that was easy. Funny story, but it's a bit long. No. Okay. Good choice. This one girl in my school got suspended for bringing in a knife. Okay. 
Okay. That worked out, huh? Yeah. That was oh, excellent. Are you just going to stare at me or? Okay, I was expecting something different. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. What about these two balls right here? Hmm. What if we hide in this? There's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out. If you keep pretending to be one. I don't need to pretend. I'm a human. Okay, 16 left. Oh, cool. I like that. Now, I think we're about to find the first fun value thing. Okay, I already know all of this. Has music changed? Oh, we've got a fight. Snowdrake flutters forth. Let's try and murder the Snowdrake. Oh, Ice Panzer, snow problem. Ugh. Ice E, what you did there. Ah! <laughs> that was so clutch. Okay, do we kill him? Yeah, we killed him. Nice. Walk into the lamp for a while. It's fun, I swear. Okay, I'll do that. Can we get some relish? Yes. Yes, we can get some relish. I'll go back. I was about to look at a fun value thing. 15 left. That's actually a really nice quality of life. Because they see you as a monster. Ah! Okay, I am walking into the lamp for a while. Everyone forgets that Sands doesn't like ketchup. No, but he does sell those hot dogs, doesn't he? So I, I feel like that sentry station right there was kind of like him getting ready to do it. You are not a human, not anymore. You're a monster, but not like the ones you are fighting. A real monster. Yeah. I definitely thought that would be the case. I definitely thought that we would actually end up being the monster. That's why I'm so excited for this genocide playthrough as Kara. I want to know whether or not if we play into the stereotype about uh, how all the monsters see humans, because the humans drove them all underground after the war, you know, history is won by the victors and all. If we just bought into that stereotype, what would happen? This is it, this is all there is, fun right? Uh, I would actually probably say an unequivocal no. That's probably the uh, crappiest Easter egg we've found so far. Okay, so fun value should be up here. Or not, there should be a fun value thing up here, right? You can farm in the checkpoint room. Now I am going to just make sure, because I remember there being a fun value what's a dingle in this area. I'm gonna try and bring up the fun value things. So Snowden Boatman spot, I think we're actually not really close to it at all, but we should get it. We should get it as soon as it pops up. It's literally so fun. Red Rooks, you suggested to me a game for like five bucks where you just watch ducks float in a pool. <laughs> I, th I think your bar for what is a fun game is insanely low. <laughs> Are you talking about the wrong number song? Uh, maybe. Yeah, there is a fun value thing here. Okay, if someone tells me what it is, I will edit the text files that we have the fun value and then we can see what it is because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the boatman spot, right? All right, Ice Cap struts into view. Let's go ahead and kill it. Boop. Don't forget the tin can. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you trolled me while I was playing, um... What was it, uh... That's something menagerie? No. It's something optimal money. Weird. 56 is one of them. Are you trying to do the sound test room? No, we're not even close to that one. I know exactly where that one is. I don't know what the value is, but that fishing area does have one or two, actually. Okay, I'll uh, bring up the fun value wiki, and we'll kind of, like, go through them, right? Fun, 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 fun! Okay, wrong number song. This is one, right? This is the one we want. So, 2 to 39. Yeah, so, without me reading all of this, we just need to be in the river person room, right? And we already have the fun value as the right... Number. Maybe I didn't save it. I'm gonna go ahead and Alt F4. I'm gonna hit Control S on this bad boy. And then I'm gonna fire the game back up and we should get it. Right? The music test thingy is like right here. Now the music test thingy is like um it's it's by the waterfalls, isn't it? Does F4 actually work? Oh it does. Neat. Okay, I'm going through. The music has slightly changed. I don't think there's anything specifically there. I don't think that's the boatman room. I think that the boatman spawns just north of the town, don't, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, Sans, when's a human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best, or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Do you only have one outfit? 
Yeah, but I could style my hair. Oh, right. Good idea. Say, why don't you look over there? Sans, oh my god! I'm dizzy! What am I looking at? The old! All of this is different. Oh my god! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that thing is! Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination, that means it's a human! Um, human! Prepare yourself for high jinks, for low jinks, dangers, puzzlers, capers, yappers! Be inducted in other sorts of fun activities! Refreshments will be provided if you dare! <laughs> you don't even bad an eye, huh? Uh. Yeah, River Person is north of the town. Okay. Well, we definitely have the the uh, what's my dingle ready for it. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Ah, oh, well, fake it till you make it, my dizzle. All right, we got Doggo. I don't really want to kill Doggo, but unfortunately, here we are. All right, he's just done some pants. He's probably going to jump at us, right? Yes. But we slipped him. Excellent. This feels bad. The wrong number song is the most common fun event you can get. As an expert on fun activities, I can confirm that there will be fun activities. Okay, thank you, Spaghetti. Not Doggo. Uh, thedogdied.com. Somebody upload that to uh, doesthedogdie.com. Absolutely no moving. I don't trust. Aha. It's a dog. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. <laughs> hey. I can't stop shivering all of a sudden. Who? Who's there? Okay, Doggo blocks the way. We'll get it perfect on him. Boom! Strike him in the face! Damn, that was a hard hit. Don't move an inch! Man, he's not gonna see it coming whatsoever. I bet it was Jensen who smoked the dog treats. I did not smoke the dog treats! I snorted them! Did he get out the uke? <laughs> yeah, no. Alright, someone's been smoking dog treats. No, they haven't! Get that delicious booger sugar up there. All right, this sign says North, Ice, South, Ice, West, Ice, East, Snowden Town, and Ice. Okay, let's go North. So this is the snowman, isn't he? Hello, I'm a snowman. I cannot move. Traveler, if you could. You got the snowman piece. Oh, he's melted a little bit. You're carrying too many items. I'm gonna eat it. Let's eat the snowman piece in front of him. You ate the snowman piece. Your HP was maxed out. Oh me. Oh my. What are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got the snowman piece. Yummy! Let's keep on eating this anthropomorphized piece of snow. You ate the snowman piece. Your HP was maxed out. Stop. Please. You got the snowman piece. I'm gonna devour your soul! You ate the snowman piece. Yes. A useless pile of snow. I'll say... Okay, excellent. So we've toasted whatever that is. Save them? What? No! <laughs> I'm not gonna be saving them. We don't have any room in our inventory. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! But you see, this is the invisible! Uh, hmm. You must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and... Uh, why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? It would make my brother happy if you played along. I don't want to make him happy. We're here to murder! Murder! We're on a killing spree! Okay. It's better than the legendary heroes. Why? The snowman piece heals like 45 HP. Yeah, but we ate it all instead of saving it. And with the pan, they heal 49. That's fine. We, we've eaten the corpse of the snowman. It's absolutely fine. We don't get anything for sinking the ball in here, right? Ah, well. Well, it's, it's a hole. 
No way. A hole. What is this? It's a snowball. Okay. Now, there's no reason to kind of like explore around the place, is there? Because we've done this a few times and there wasn't actually anything worth finding. Up here, I think, was the dog kennels, right? Which we need to... Now, we don't need to go through here, but there is an area where there's kind of like a unique dog fight. He pops out of the snow. And the snow fight, like a, like a, like a dog fight. Come on! I hope you're ready for... Dance! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. Dance! The human is escaping! You made the puzzle too hard! Hey you, get back here! Dance! The human is... Okay, I'm gonna ult here for this, because this is a fun value thing. Really quickly, we want to go in here and we want to... At Century Station. Oh, I should have labeled these, what these were. What was it? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna bring up the fun value wiki again then. Fun value! What is it? It is this right here, 56. So let's go ahead and whack 56 in this value right here. 56, and we'll save that bad boy right there. And now we're gonna fire the game back up. Boop. There you go. I think Frisk and Kara have joined us. <laughs> You can get up to 50 gold from the ball game, but you have to do it perfectly. I mean, greater dog. Yeah, greater dog. That's that's the one. We want to fight the greater dog. One day, war broke out. Yeah, well, I'm starting my own. I am the war! Okay, good. So we're back here, which is slightly further back than last time, but we do have a fun value request for this. Let's just go ahead and skip all of this. I completely forgot about this. Oh, I should have saved after firing this one up, right? Right up. Okay, so this fun value is called Nightmare Mode. And I don't know if there's going to be lore in it. I'm still pretty certain that the fun value things are cut content, right? It's, it was like a little bit too creepy for the base game. So it was just cut out of the game. This includes a lot of the Gasper stuff. The Snowden music is so sad. You could have just dropped your other items to keep the snowman pieces. What? Why would I do that? I stole that candy. I'm not gonna throw away perfectly stolen candy. Awesome, we've got a fight right here with the lesser doggo. Now, when we get back to that area, I'm actually gonna go all the way back and I'm gonna save. Just before we hit the, uh, what's the dingles? Well, we probably don't need to save anymore, do we? Because now we've got the fun value, the right one. Okay, so we're just gonna push on through as fast as we possibly can. Okay, I'm gonna slam through this guy as well, because he's easy. Boop. Give him a... Give him a nice wee pet hard enough for him to feel. I'm not gonna move, of course. No, is they're just factually in the game? What do you mean, no? No, as then they're factually in the game. What does that mean? Is this Geno or Pacifist Route? This is definitely genocide, as is indicated by the title of the stream. And we are murdering everything as well. You could eat the candy to make room for the snow pieces. Yeah, I could do that, but I don't really need the healing. <laughs> That's the thing. Fine, I'll do it your way. Let's go ahead and eat the candy. You ate the monster candy. Your HP was maxed out. Uh, let's eat the candy again. And I'm going to eat the candy. Whoops, there we go, good. Hello, I'm a snowman, I cannot move. Good, we got a snowman piece. Good, and we'll take another piece of him. Stop, please! No. I love how snow is probably the thing that actually heals us the most in the game as well. The fun value events are factually in the game. Yeah, yeah, but they're not canon. Nothing confirms whether or not they're canon. So it's all speculation and hearsay. That's the thing. If I was going to trust the wiki for this game, then I would just literally come to the same consensus that the entire fandom has come to. Unfortunately, I have not come to the same con conclusion that the fandom has come to because the wiki is all just misinformation based on speculation. Why would they not be canon? I don't know, because... <laughs> Then they're, they're not in the game, like as you naturally progress. They're little Easter eggs. Fun value things are just Easter eggs, and Easter eggs are usually not canon. Otherwise, it would be canon that in the pirated copy of The Witcher 3, that uh, Jennifer of Vingerberg is actually just this fat hag, right? I've been the genocide route 20 times, so I know what I'm talking about. Probably need those. Okay. Because they are firearm? What a firearm. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, the fun value things, uh, they're not confirmed to be canon whatsoever in the game, but I do want to see them regardless. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? Okay, good. Let's go into it. That's 
weird. We changed the fun value and it didn't do anything. Stranger. They can roll them when you just play the game. Yeah, but not all of them spawn. So if you're going to assume that every single one of the Easter egg items in the game is canon, then you have to assume that there's kind of like a billion branching timelines of the game, and that's canon. That's canon to the universe. Pacifist is the canon true ending. Genocide is the pacifist canon true ending. Because you can't get some fun value things on um, pacifist. You can't get some uh, fun value things on genocide. Like guests as followers don't follow, uh, don't pop up in genocide. There are some things that don't pop up in the pacifist. Neutral is, is the canon ending as well. Maybe you can't be on the genocide route or something. No, no, it's canon because we see it in the game. That, that's, that's the Scots world logic right now. If we see it in the game, if it's presented to us, then it's the canon ending. So Jibble and Spamton's existence is not canon then? No, they are definitely canon because we are presented with them in every single game. If we seek them out, they're there. Like, it, it, that's, that's canon. They're both canon. So, okay, I'm just going to ignore the fun value things because I don't really think that they're necessary. What the heck? They didn't skip it? I'm telling you, everyone likes word searches. Oh my god! I can't work in this environment! Let me just make sure that something hasn't changed, right? And then we're not looking at uh, some other... Fun... Yeah, we definitely edited the right fun value thing. What about this one? There might be a fun value on the config. No, there definitely is not. Strange. Okay. So editing the fun value just flat out doesn't work. At least on my computer. Pretty sure that some values don't work if your murder level is too high. Yeah, that's true. You can't see any of Gaster's followers in a genocide run. All right, I'm just going to ignore the fun value thing. Like, it was a good experiment, but if it's not going to work, I'm not going to waste my time on it. Okay. I guess despite all that, you still like word searches, huh? That means you can't be all bad. Ah, well. I'll have to do, like, a specific run to find all the fun values then, if that's the case. The note from Papyrus. Yeah, man! Please enjoy the spaghetti! Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap! Designed to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you are progressing! Thoroughly changed again by the great Papyrus! Yeah! Papyrus. I love how he signed it. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. That's nice. That's lovely. You can do that during hard mode. Do what during hard mode? 13 left. Okay, so we still kind of have to, like, go around and... Let's do the frisk dance. See if we'll get a roll in here. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work, though. Oh, I missed them already? Yeah. So, I feel like maybe the fun value things... It's going to require a little bit more know-how than just editing a text file, right? Because that's how I definitely change the... Find the fun values. Yeah, I will. Oh, right. Uh, doing hard mode. Okay. There aren't encounters in the spaghetti room? All right, let's gap it out of here then. What about in here? Are there encounters in here? Fun values isn't 100% to happen. Uh, one fun value is um, guaranteed per roll, but even then, that one might not roll in the first place. But there are in the next room? Okay, we'll go to the next room. We gotta do a lot of murder in this one here. Oh, this is the big room, isn't it? Uh, let's go do the dog first, because I remember seeing somewhere that if you take out the dog uh, before, no, if you, if you clear the zone before taking out the dog, it won't, like, do the, the right thing. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna slam down his hat. Well, can you give me a ride home? <laughs> no. Jerry eats powdery food and licks its hands loudly. That is disgusting, Jerry. Seven. The white bite here sucks. Whoa, smells like Jerry. What is Jerry? Awkward. Yeah, I'll say. What is Jerry? Awkward! Alright, I'm just gonna keep on fighting. There are encounters here. Kara is only grooving because Sans DJ is here, I just know it. Give Jerry a ride home to hell? Can we actually give him a ride? We can ditch him. That's funny. Jerry lets out a yaw. Okay. I'm still gonna kill Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Come on! Why are you so tanky? Why is this guy so tanky and why won't he fight back? So like, what's up? What a guy. What a dick. No, I'm not gonna give you a ride. He reminds me of kind of like a couple of real scummy friends that I used to have years and years ago. Is that what he's supposed to be like? Is he actually supposed to be like the scummy friends? <laughs> Jerry is the true villain of Undertale? He certainly is, isn't he? Got 72 buckery boost from that. We didn't get any love from that. Right, so... 
the hell? This is already disabled. Weird. Okay, two dogs. We're going to have to kill them, unfortunately. I don't feel great about this. I don't feel great about killing these two dogs. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. I am Kara. I am Kara. Hmm, there's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Okay, let's go ahead and start slamming these doggos. Whoa! Let's kick human ass. Uh, whoops, I took that one. I don't really want to take many hits. Whoops. <laughs> Damn, this controller is so fiddly. Okay, good. Okay, uh, more attacks. I'm slipping through. Oh my god, this controller. The game, honestly, I'm so excited for Deltarune Chapter 3 and 4 to come out because the combat in Undertale is really jank if you're using a controller. Flower does all the puzzles. If you interact with the switch in the snow, it'll say being depressed or vines or something. Ah! That's probably worth going back to take a look at. I'll chop you in half! Will you, though? Ah! Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. It took me so long to figure out how to get around that attack. Here we go. Whoa, 65? All right, she's gonna chop us in half, which is absolutely fine. I do not mind whatsoever. You be based, girl. You do you. You do you, I'll be me. Nice. They are down. Down for the count. We got 50 buckery boost from that as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check out the switch. Where is it? It's pretty obvious, actually. It's right here. There's a switch here. It's been depressed with vines. Ah. Okay, so... So, we are working with Flowey for genocide, right? Which... I don't know if that means Kara is necessarily a bad person, but it does mean that Flowey is getting his way finally. He's kind of going scorched earth, isn't he? Now, the thing I don't really understand is why does he want to kill the monsters if it was the... If it was the humans that led to his death, right? Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay, we already know how to do this one. This one's pretty simple, honestly. We don't want to start over there. We want to start all the way down here. And we're going to go up and around and hit that bazinga. Good. And we'll come down here, hit that one, and boop. Done. Did that work? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it worked. Hard to tell, actually. Ha ha da. These puzzles are disabled too. Hot take. Jensen is the most coquette stream of fishermen I know. In the back. Okay. Uh, Happy, you are getting a permanent ban. You're getting a permanent ban for spamming the channel. It's honestly really annoying. And here we go. Done. Happy is dead. Happy is permanently dead. Sorry, guys. I killed Happy. Happy, you okay? Happy's back. No, he's not. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great! Are you serious? Science, help! They keep walking through my puzzles! They're supposed to let me explain them! Then threaten and baffle them with dangerous dreams! Well, maybe they don't like japes. Everyone likes japes! What about Undyne? Doesn't she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves japes! That makes sense. Human! What do you think? Puzzles are japes! Okay, this is normally the part where you either agree or disagree. And depending on your answer, we say something great in response. Yeah, why don't you do this puzzle yourself? Okay. Okay. Sure, it's eligible chicken scratch. Okay, good. Can we actually enable this thing? The machine isn't working. Oh, that sucks. Hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. No. Happy no, just kidding, I don't care. Happy is changing the username to depress and want to die. Hello there, DJ. Hope you're doing really, really well. I'm starting to recognize your gigantic jumble of uh, username there. On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. What is Undertale Genocide? It's the kill everybody run. We're going by that number way up there in the corner right there. 11 left. So what we need to do is basically just kind of like encounter everything that we possibly can by doing this weird epilepsy seizure dance right here. And we get different dialogue. Do we get the No, we probably want to actually fight Big Doggo in the snow first, right? Okay, let's do that. Uh, this one's actually... I've done this puzzle so many times that it's kind of not that hard to figure out now. 
Oh, the puzzle's already been solved. We don't need to do this. Okay, so watch down. Right. There is a sexy papyrus, and obviously Sans is, um, can't be asked doing whatever it is that he needs done. I fell off! Okay, good to know. I completely forgot that that was actually a thing. Uh, right. So we need to be able to... Yeah, okay, this is a good angle. Let's go! Damn it! This damn controller! No! <laughs> Maybe the hardest puzzles are the friends we picked up along the way. Okay, good. We got it this time. Nice! Can you give us a Palantra's voice? No, I can't give you a Palantra's voice! That voice honestly is how most Southern New Zealanders uh, heckle Australians. So down here we gotta take out this rude dude, right? That's what we've been telling you, dude. I recommend grinding in the big room with the switch and the snow puzzle. Possibly, but if there are encounters everywhere, isn't everywhere just as good as each other? Okay, here's Big Doggo. It's the greater dog. I love this song so much. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Oops, took that one straight to the face. That's absolutely fine though. All right, good. And we attack that one. Okay, Doggo is sleeping somehow, even though we've almost taken him out. And he's down. He's down for the count. See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I love that. I, I, I love imitating Australians as a Southern New Zealander because it's always so funny, isn't it? All right, we've got a dog house here. Now, there was something south of here. We once came here and there were a bunch of eyes. Oh, there they are. So, I think that those are spiders, maybe. Maybe... What is this? Is this new? Is this new? It's a door. So, this is one of the fun value things, isn't it? This is supposed to open. And we either see the mystery man which is exclusive to Genocide Run, as opposed to Gaster, who is not exclusive to Genocide. Um, uh, uh, Gaster events are exclusive to Pacifism Runs. Or it could be the sound test room with cut content. That isn't a fun value thing? Okay, good. Good to know. There, uh, those things are in the, in the game. It's fun values, though. You already found this in the blind playthrough? Yeah, but I have memory issues, so it always surprises me. Where did you get this information? Uh, I very briefly, I briefly scanned the fun value wiki. You're there! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh, this is the same. Door opens if you no-hit the credit. Go back? What do you mean, go back? When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! I don't know, but still. Okay, thanks. No, no, it doesn't look very activated. Well! They're probably going to walk through it! And it won't be any fun at all! Hmm. So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them! So I'll become a famous royal guardsman! But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party! Without traps and fire? Exactly! It's pointless! Maybe you are right to be lazy about puzzles! Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah! What am I saying? You're still completely wrong! I just have the wrong audience! Think about how much fun Undyne would have here! Flames! Violence! It's right up her alley! So I won't waste this puzzle on you! I just have to appreciate the friend I already have! Phew! A valuable life lesson! Ha <laughs> ha! Can we grind for fights here? Oh, talk to Sans, though? Yeah, I definitely will. Oh, I said cave, Julia. I meant cave. <laughs> Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Dude, I've been thinking. It seems like you're going to fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're going to have a bad time. That confirms genocide, doesn't it? We have uh, locked into the genocide route. No encounters here, go back though. Why would I go back if there's nothing to see? <laughs> 
Okay, we're here at Snowden. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and do a save right here. Good. And we should be fine, right? So, wait, why is the background up here black? Is that in the base game? Yeah, probably. There should be something, if the fun value is, is still kind of like functioning, there should be something up here. Right, because this is where the boatman lives. You have to get the rest of the enemies. Yeah, I don't see anything up here. I think the fun value thing is kind of like either patched out or maybe just harder to do than just editing a text file. You messed it up? No, I don't think so. I don't think I messed it up. Because this zone, we have to uh, clear everything before we encounter Papyrus, and we haven't, uh, we haven't encountered Papyrus. Okay, you're not done killing? Yeah, I didn't think so. I just, I, I need to know where to go back to. You can't just say like, go back. Cause then there's no objective to, oh, perfect. We can actually grind them out on this bridge right here. Oh, Jerry! No one likes Jerry. Jerry is such a pain in the asshole. All right, let's uh, give him a little bit of a pain in the asshole. Nine, wowee. Okay, what a load of damage. What, what if we whip the shots? What if we just mash it? Is this faster? I don't think it's faster. No, I don't think it's faster. Okay, let's just, let's try and land all the crits that we can. That'll do it. What? What do you mean, what? Wait, there are encounters here? Yes, there are encounters here, see? I mean, I've encountered Jerry. I don't know this game at all. I'm a, a fraud. <laughs> yeah, I find everything by accident. That's how I'm so good at things. Huh, did they ditch me? Of course they ditched you. Jerry, you smell! You smelly wanker! Wi-Fi here sucks. Yeah, there is no Wi-Fi down here. Okay, good. I feel like this was one of the the Kickstarter creations, right? Because uh, people could pay on Kickstarter when the game was being developed to kind of have their own creature put into the game. And I feel like Jerry is one of those creatures. All right, let's go ahead and we'll just grind out on this bridge right here. This is safe, right? A child just bumping into the edge of a really, really high drop. People don't die like this. Imagine you're walking by on this bridge and you see someone with jaundice doing this. What is jaundice again? Is that kind of like Parkinson's? Nine. Well said. Well said. Nine indeed. Okay. So we just wait here, right? We just do the frisk dance until, uh, actually this isn't a bridge. I don't know, man. It kind of looks like a bridge to me. Jaundice makes you yellow? Ah, okay. 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 Ten. What? This is a rock formation that Pepper has painted over. Cite your source. Cheese? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think cheese. I, d I don't think. We keep encountering Jerry, though, so maybe we do want to keep going backwards. Huh? Did they ditch me? Of course they ditched you, Jerry! You're unlikable! You're a heathen! Yuck! Look at those smelly little eyes. Hanging off the side of his face like some weird oblivion character creation gone wrong. Eat ass, Jerry! Eat my ass! That's definitely a bridge. He stays in one of the calls. He added the ropes as well. Ah, okay. Wait, what call? If you're his friend, you can call in this room. Oh, right, that's right. You can get context from everybody, can't you? About the places that you go to. I completely forgot that was even a thing. Oh, that's our first tier. Okay, good. It still smells like Jerry in here, unfortunately. All right, got a nine on there. A Jerry is a, is a damp fart of a fight. Because we don't get to do anything in between these attacks. Why is he so tanky? Is there lore about that? If you hit Jerry on the red, it does more damage. Does it? I want to see how many more. I'm just going to go and interact with the star right here to see how many more. Seven left. Okay, good. We'll actually keep count on that one. Also, on the end of each bridge, if you interact. Uh. Oh, there's a camera underneath the bridge. That's Elphus. Why would it be underneath the bridge if he's watching us? I think there's cameras. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely cameras underneath the bridge. I don't know what they're going to be able to see from beneath, though. All right, we got seven more ice cap appears. I'm getting out of the zone. Jerry is literally just the worst thing to be fighting. This is a bad zone to be fighting in. Unless it like gives us bonus love or something like that, but I feel like that's going to bite us in the ass when we encounter Sands. Okay, good. Boop. Give him a little boop across his forehead. Does it actually if you hit the red? Fine. 
Okay, I hit the red. Five. No, uh, red rocks, you're absolutely full of crap on that one. How can there be cameras under the bridge if it's a rock formation? Uh, they were probably glued there. Also, red does more damage. Does it? Because I just hit the red. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, can you give me a ride home? No. The red, not before the red? Oh, do you mean like the... Oh, I see, whoops. The red zone, okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? The red does nothing. It's literally just a scale of damage based on how fast your reflexes are. Okay, I got seven out of that one. That was not bad. Yeah, and it, it, it doesn't matter which red you hit, it's still kind of like worse damage than just hitting direct center, which I can hit. Okay, we're gonna keep hitting the red center, the uh, green center. It makes more sense. Yes, I lied. I made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. I don't accept your apology. I know that you're capable of doing such an action now and I will hold it against you for the rest of your days. You can do like 10 damage if you hit near the center. Yeah, uh, nine. We can do nine damage if we hit directly in the center. Sometimes 10 if we're really lucky. How dare he? Yeah, I know, right? Just sandbagged our progress. So, uh, Jaundice, right? You get massive, like, shakes with Jaundice as well. Because that would explain how, uh, our car is kind of living at this point, right? Poor girl. Poor girl twitching in her boots. Her booties. Not to be confused with a booty, which she doesn't have because she's a child. The only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. They're hairless, you can't groom them. My dude. Unless you're just slathering them in moisturizer, which would be absolutely disgusting. The health. Yeah, exactly right. Just like rubbing moisturizer all over your naked cats. God, that would make me so uncomfortable. Let's get out of here. I'm, I'm done fighting Jerry. Jerry sucks. Jerry sucks ass. My cat died. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, DJ. It's, it's never fun when we lose a pet, is it? Okay, we'll come up here. Maybe we, honestly, let's just try and bump into this doghouse. Oh, we can't actually. It has to be a wall. Gotcha. All right, let's go up in here. You get Jerry and Genocide? Jerry side? Constantly? Okay, that's annoying. We're gonna have to start looking out for some better weapons then, right? If that's the case. To make it more annoying. Hey, we can move in every direction. <laughs> what the hell? Seriously? By the way, moving left is much stronger than moving right. Oops, that was weird. That was from the Colleen Ballinger apology video. What, the severe lapse in judgment? Oh, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. Yeah, yeah, she seems like the kind of person who would rub moisturizer all over her cats. Gross. You can get the tough gloves out of the box. Oh, true, 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 true. Those things are awesome. Gives you a couple of weaker, but you get more attacks, right? In the room south of the fishing rod room. Yeah, 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 I'll go get them now. I completely forgot that they exist. We're probably still using our crappy ass stick. Not to be confused with a normal stick, which is not being held in our crappy ass. Also, we pooped ourselves. All right, use the box? Absolutely. Get this tough glove right there. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and use it. We'll replace whatever we... What did we just replace? The toy knife, okay. I'm gonna throw this stick away because it's just gonna tempt fate. We wanna murder everybody, including all the doggos. And I don't know if we really want to keep that bandage, but I remember it's kind of like a healing item too. Five left. Excellent. You can't do more damage to him with any weapon. He has a constant damage done. No matter what you make him, the run longer is uh, annoying as punishment. Yeah, but if we can do multiple hips, then there's the potential for us to do two loads of damage at once. I remember putting the pie and stone man pieces into the box. Now I'm just going to keep the mommy. You never know. You never know when you might need a, uh, a conscious snowman. All right, good. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, the chill drake. That's a new one. Let's go ahead and hit this ice cap. Boom. Whoops. I forgot to press Z. All right, we have to dodge everything, which is absolutely fine. Oh, that was so close, actually. Good. It smells like ice scented body spray. Uh, hit the center. That's right. We want to mash the button. Okay, this is why I love the gloves so much. It's not the weapon that hits multiple times. It's not that. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Chill drinks, that's a one monster riot. That's fine. Oh no! I don't want to hit. Ugh. This can 
controller honestly is sandbagging me so hard. Damn it, we took a bunch of hits there, but the Sandpoil is fine. Dual Drake is chanting an anarchist spell. Good for him. Okay, uh, don't want to act. Why is my controller picking these things? Oops. Excellent, 57. Turns music up all the way. Good for you, Chill Drake. Ah, oh, damn it. I went into the wrong direction there. Okay, wonderful. Children is flaking apart. Good. Let's go ahead and beat him to death. Nice, 58. With Snowdrake, the bottom right corner is a safe spot, but not with Childrake. Okay, good to know. Dr. Backseat game. I recommend putting the pipe. Okay, so I don't accidentally use them. I am going to use them. All right, let's fight Jerry again. Yeah, you're right. There is a hard cap on the Jerry damage. Which is kind of fine, I suppose. It's not so bad. Uh, the last weapon we had, believe it or not, actually did a higher DPS because it skipped the whole punching phase. Maybe we don't want to be using this. Okay, that was directly on the nose. And it wasn't necessarily a 10. It was a pretty good hit, though. That was also a 9. All right. And we got a 10 right there. That's pretty good. I think we'll finish him off in the next one. If we can get a 10. Nice. There we go. Good. We won! We got 90 buckery boos for that. And now we're gonna dance on this bridge again. Two? Well, we'll know. We'll know. We'll know because the save is telling us exactly how many kills that we need to get. I'm actually just gonna kind of like do the frisk dance up here, real close to the entrance to the town. It shortens our travel out. I love how you can only spear Jerry in the genocide route. Really? That's super weird. Don't you want him dead? I mean, just. Just look at his demeanor. Look at his diet. Look at how he just nonchalantly complains about everything and then mooches off of everybody around him. God, I had so many friends like that. I got rid of them so... Oh, when I realized just how bad those friends were, like, I did not miss a single one of them when I got rid of them. I had so many friends like that. Like, 15 friends like that I could probably name off the top of my head, which I won't do because I don't dox people. I love how you can, okay, to what, extent, to what extent do you forget stuff, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's, it's real bad. Um, think of like a $10,000 gaming PC with like maybe 500 megabytes of DDR2 RAM. That's, that's my brain. A, a year five kid from my old primary school asked me if I wanted a puff of his vape. Don't do it. Vapes are a gateway drug into being an absolute degenerate. Although you could pretty easily cruise across the whole life just by vaping and not doing anything else. However, people will not like it. People, if you walk past somebody on the street and you, you blow a cloud on them, they'll get real pissed off that you just uh, non-consensually force them to smell some weird pastry secondhand uh, breath. And that's all they're going to be thinking as well, because that's all I think whenever I'm walking behind somebody who's just vaping up fat clouds. I'm like, huh, did you want to maybe ask somebody before you just started? Because the thing about vapes is that... When someone exhales it, everything that you see, the cloud that you see, is every piece of, uh, uh, like, uh, biological yucky air that was caught in their lungs right before they exhaled. I just said, no, nah, I've got my own and ran off. Yeah, running off is a really, really good idea. Always run away from a vape. Always run away from a vapist. Never trust a vapist. There we go. Okay, this should be the last one, right? Ice cap beers. This should be the last one before we start getting the but nobody came dialogue. The Wi-Fi here sucks. That's fine, Jerry. You'd be an absolute piece of garbage. See how many hits it takes to get rid of him. One, two. I think it's going to be like 10 or 11. Three. Probably 11. I think he might have 100 HP. We'll see. Four. And five. Okay, he's got just under 100 HP. Which is not that bad. Six. Because we, we can't do any more than 10. 7. Whoops. 8. I whiffed that one. I forgot to actually attack. 9. Okay, so he endemically has under 90 HP. We know that for a fact. That should be everything, right? So if we walk around here, we should get the but nobody came dialogue. Which I'm, I'm still gonna roll for. I'm just, I'm gonna make very certain that we actually get the but nobody came dialogue. Before we kind of double down and keep going. Okay. Okay. We're almost through the second zone. I literally cannot believe it. Music is snow now. You mean slow, right? It is very slow. 
I think it like it gets slower and slower and slower as you kill things as well. You are good. Thank you. Thank you. I know you're just uh, like using that as a colloquialism for like, hey, you, you can keep going. But I'm just going to make sure. Because uh, I don't know if changing the fun values has kind of like messed up the save or anything like that. I'm just going to make sure. I mean, you don't need the but nobody came, I don't think. Yeah, but I want it. I want to see it. It is the only positive reinforcement we get for genocide. Because we're not necessarily getting a lot of lore yet. We will be getting a lot of lore. We're not getting it yet. Wow. It's taking ages to roll, isn't it? I mean, that's, honestly, Pokemon would be such a different game if deaths in there were permanent. Like, you make a Pokemon faint without capturing it, you, you don't encounter that Pokemon again if there are, like, 100 Pokemon that you could potentially capture. If they all die, Lavender Town would be bustling with activity. Everyone would be living there. That'd be such a unique game mechanic, honestly. I kind of love it. Days Gone had that mechanic in it where if you killed a zombie, it removed a zombie from the total, like, spawn of the zombies in the game. And eventually, you start, like, uh, encountering these hordes. Once you take out the horde, it removes that horde from the game, which is so cool. You can tell in the next room. Okay, we'll go into the next room. I just wanted to see the dialogue. Welcome to Snowden. Thank you. All right, music here is creepy. Determination. Okay, good, we've done it. So let's go ahead and progress onwards. Where is everybody? Hey, buddy, where is everyone? Yo, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes, huh? Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Okay, that is childhood innocence right there. He was obviously not around when the humans were invading. When the humans drove them underground. So I think that's why he's still got that kind of innocent vibe there. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, this is eerie. I'm going to go check out the rest of these places too. Rob the store? Uh, I don't think we encounter a rob whatsoever. Can we rob the inn? Can we just sleep here for free? Who's hiding behind here? Hello, buddy? What's up? It's merely a decoy. <laughs> I tried to fight it anyway, so it worked. Okay, we can't go up there. Right. But nobody came. Oh! Tough glove, manly bandana. I want this. I'm taking it. Can we steal as well? You took 758 buckery boos from behind the counter. Whoa! That's insane. Nothing left. Okay, read? There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Make me! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we should have used this manly bandana right here. I am going to go ahead and see what weapon we have. The tough glove. So that's the one we can steal, isn't it? That's the one we got for free. Take the tough glove. Yeah, so we don't want that. Can we steal again? No, we can't. Woo! Neochroma! Oh, and by the way, if you re-enter a room, the step counter gets shorter. What is a step counter? Is it... Are we actually, like, trying to get fit with something like that? You can't even sleep in genocide? Yeah, how could you? How could you sleep in genocide? If you put the cool stuff in the box, you can get a ton of cinnamon buns and stuff. Stuff in the box? What box? No, there's no box here. Uh, we probably actually have enough money to put uh, Timmy through college in this playthrough as well. We probably want to do that, don't we? All right, good. Can we just knock on this door? No, we can't. Oh man, everyone's so afraid. I wish I could kill this guy. Actually, this guy does pop up in a fun value as uh, kind of like a corpse, doesn't he? So maybe it's canon in the genocide run that we did actually kill him. But again, I'm like, I'm, I'm really, I don't want to put genocide in the uh, kind of like canon items category. Hello? No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. What about now? No answer. 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 Hmm. No answer. No answer. No answer. 
No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. Well, I don't think anyone's home. But what if there is? No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. What about this time? No answer. No answer. Do you have time to talk to us about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Hello? I can't drink. All I have is socially invading people's homes. Please. I've seen Jehovah. Okay, I've had enough. <laughs> Should be a speed run for the knock the door. Wait, no. The lamp thing was definitely fun. Yeah, I, I certainly agree as well. I definitely agree that the lamp thing was really, really fun. Uh, let's go north of this area because we already have the fun value for this zone punched in. So this is where we're supposed to get one of the fun value things, right? There's nothing there though. Okay, the guy throwing the ice into the water has also disappeared. So maybe we won't have the blizzard storm when we go out there. There's a box next to the save point. Yeah, we've uh, j we got our last weapon from it. What are we putting in there? In Stoughton Town? Yeah, again, we, we just got our last weapon from the same box right here. What do you want me to put in here? Use the box. Okay, I'll put the snowman pieces in here, sure. There you go. And the butterscotch pile will dump in there as well. I mean, it's not like we're going to use it. I don't really use healing items that much. Hello, tree. Put the cool stuff in there. What, like the... The snow. I put the snow in there. All right, we're going into the library B. Does this have different dialogue? Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We brave harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reach what we now consider our capital, new home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Same dialogue as the blind playthrough. Can we maybe steal from over the counter? I see a weapon behind there, like a shotgun. If someone tries to steal a book, Shotgun's coming out. What about this house right here? It's locked. Well, that's not good. What about in here? It's locked from the inside. What about this flower that I'm phasing through? That's weird. You might need them, I don't know. Not to backseat game. Oh, okay, so we're just putting them in there because everybody's afraid that I'm actually gonna use them. You know, money is worth nothing if you don't spend it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the fight with Papyrus. Alt human! Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you! I, the Great Papyrus, have some things to say! First, you're a freaking weirdo! Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place, the way your hands are always covered in dusty powder, it feels like your life is going down a dangerous path! However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you! Everyone can be a great person if they try! And me, I hardly have to try at all! Ha ha ha! Hey! Quit moving! This is exactly what I am talking about! Human! I think you are in need of guidance! Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow! But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor! I will turn your life right around! I see you are approaching! Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowee! My life lessons are already working! I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms! Okay, it's time to kill him. Pepper is sparing me. Where's the music? Oh god, I punched him in the nuts so hard that his head fell off. Well, that's not what I expected. Bye bye. But s still, I believe in you. You can do a little better, even if you don't think so. I, I promise. Okay, bye! It was nice punching you in the balls! But there's also the Keishan Waterfall, which heals 32 HP. Why does he sound like Jack Sept guy? Ah, uh, that's Papyrus' voice. If you check him, he is two attack, two defense, it says forgettable. Ah, you blew out his back and his head. I did. I did blow out his back. I didn't blow out my back, though. I've got a nice young person's back. Ah, uh, video games allow you to have things that... That ordinarily uh, unobtainable in real life, right? Excellent. Hello, friendo. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, 
Don't tell my parents I'm here. Uh -huh. So these flowers are gonna give us different dialogue, right? 18 left. Good. It's strangely silent. Yes. Wait, does that mean no one's ever passed through here then? There is a door behind this. This is supposed to be where sand sells things, right? So in here, this is definitely where one of the fun value what's my dingles are. Okay, that's our storage box. Don't really care about it too much. All right! Because we're doing a genocide route, Doggo's not throwing ice, which means we're not getting rocks falling. Ooh. Oh, this is just the dusty tutu. Okay. I'm pretty sure this kind of like is the mystery man fun value, right? How's everyone? Hello there, Bookie Boo. We're all really, really good. Sans doesn't sell stuff here. He sells stuff in Hotland. Okay. Spent four hours yesterday listening to the Superliminal OST because it's that good. Or is this it? Is this the one? This is supposed to be like the fake hallway, right? Or maybe it was the last one. Okay. Undyne is not... Oh! Hello! <laughs> the station at the start of Waterfall when he asks if you want to go to Grillby's. Quote of 24. Okay, bye. It was nice punching you with the balls. <laughs> Having fun committing war crimes? Of course I am! War crimes are made to be fun. Well, I, I immediately take that back, actually. The fake hallway is after the sands point with the cheese on the crystal. Right, yes! So I do want to see that fun value, but weirdly, the fun value in the text file that I edit is not actually applying to the game. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! She was just standing there, waiting forever, and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. All right, he landed face first. There should be like a little squeak or something as soon as he hits that. 18 left. Yep, I'm gonna do a save. So, we're real close to it. Ah, Flowey already solved this puzzle for us. What a dingbat. Thank you. What if we... Okay, never mind, we're fighting. Aaron flexes in. Okay, Aaron, eat my fist. Right in the nuts. Ew, I'm sweating, winky face. That's, oh. Yeah, yeah, get as many of these little friendship pellets as we can. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops. <laughs> one punch in the face. I forgot that we had to attack for a second there. Whoa, I'm slipping. Okay, good. Yep, good. Aaron's muscles flex. Not anymore, they don't. I punched his tail off. I've cut him in half. I cleft him in twain. If we interact with this, does it say anything? No. Okay, I thought it might give us a little bit of context. When you go in, Mystery Man is there. Yeah, so I wanted to see them one very specifically in this genocide run because Gaster's followers pop up in the pacifist run when your murder level is low. Mystery Man pops up in the genocide run. So how are they connected? How, why do people think that the Mystery Man is Gaster? Because there's no evidence for it anywhere. I, I just don't quite understand why people are jumping to that conclusion. Is it a map hat thing? So you can't just go back and forth to reload it or try to get the door? It randomizes your fun value? Yeah, but I can edit it. I can edit the initialization file that has the fun value in it. It just doesn't read it. In the files? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I actually did it on stream uh, about an hour ago. It's strangely silent. Are all of these strangely silent? It's strangely silent. Okay, we've got a fight right here. Watch you it. I'm sorry. Time to clean up your act. Oh, so close. Did he just talk about our soul? Did he just say our soul is dirty? Watch you, it's revolted. It's revolted at its own wounds. Oh, that's a first. Here we go. Give him a couple of punches, and we've killed him. Excellent. All right, what about this flower? Strangely silent. It's strangely silent. Is this different? Look through the telescope. Yes, please. Check the wall. Is this a different color? I remember it being like red. No, that's Sans telescope. Okay, I don't really see anything through the telescope. Nihil noe sub sole, as they say in Latin. It's strangely silent. By the way, if anybody uh, wants to speak a little Latin, that's how you say uh, nothing new under the sun. Nihil noe sub sole. Ancient writing covers the wall, so you can just make out the words. Okay, so this is all of the lore, is it? Whoops. I thought it was gonna be significantly longer than it was. We can just skip all this. We already have all of this context right here. It's 66. Also, game theory. Oh, right. So, game theory is the reason that everybody has incorrectly attributed the mystery man to Gaster, right? Because it's not confirmed anywhere whatsoever. 
I've done a lot of research on Gaster as well. I had my own theories on this game, and everybody kept saying, hey, Gaster is the, the hole in your theory. So I went and researched Gaster. And as it turns out, everybody who said that, is, they can't cite sources because there are no sources to cite. Okay, good. Nice. I don't know how I was getting hit by this guy's spears in the first opening of the... Oh, that's out. Oops. Okay, good. All you have to do is kind of like slip downwards, wait for them to bait, and then slip upwards. Like that. Whee! Okay, we got caught by one of them. Uh, we got hit by another one of those. That's absolutely fine because we have so much health. It's just ridiculous how much health we have. Walkie dokie! <laughs> that was close. Guess the stats are 666 at 666 defense. He's not in the game! You're not citing any sources! Also, it hasn't been confirmed yet that Mystery Man is Gaster. No, it hasn't. No one has confirmed this whatsoever. It's been a decade since the game came out. No one has been able to actually find a connection between the two. The one guy saying it's strangely silent over and over deserves a raise. I'm too lazy to look it up. Yeah, I know. If you can't cite your source, then obviously it's, it's, it's not a, a thing that you can actually find. It hasn't been confirmed. Exactly. Can't wait for Toby to prove the entire fan base of Undertale and Deltarune completely wrong. Undyne grabs a child. Yes, Undyne does grab a child. However, we are also a child, so there's no winning for Undyne regardless. The best evidence is how he types. Undyne just touch me. Okay, this is not different. And he fell on his face. The best evidence is how he types. What? Unknown sprite plus unknown name must be the same. Huh? What do you mean? Absolutely not. That is not true whatsoever. Good grief! Yeah, we got 16 left. So, let's actually try and figure it out because if I go here, I'll show you exactly how I was doing it. Where is it? If I open up Sublime here. So this right here, I gave myself a kind of spoiler-free free rundown of all of the fun values that we could possibly get. This one right here is the one that we want, right? We want to set our fun value to 66. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my app data file and we are going to go back one out of roaming and into local where game data is stored. We want to go to, into Undertale. And then we want to open the Undertale.initialization file, which is right here. I'll separate this out. Fun, right here. So our fun value is 56, right? Our fun value is 56. So if I delete this and I put 66 in here and I save it, now if I quit this game right, that should save over. It should save over that this fun value is 66 and not 56, right? That's how it should work. So let's fire the game straight back up. It's coming. Okay, we have the game up and running. Now, if I close this text file I just edited, reopen it, right here, we see the fun value is saved at 66. Yes? I think it needs capital F. No, it doesn't. That was patched in the uh, first patch that went out about the game. So if we go out from here, there is a 10% chance that there is a room that spawns with the... What is it? I think it's the sound testing room. I actually also have the fun value wikis over here. The... No, it's not the sound testing room. Mystery man. So you've got a 100% chance to roll a fake hallway on the roll uh, 56 value fun, right? Oh, sick, no. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was patched out. It's on this wiki as well. So we've got a 100% chance to roll the fake room, the fake hallway. So if we look at this, the fake hallway is a hallway and waterfall that appears if the fun value is 66. It can appear between the crystal save point and sans telescope rooms, which is right in between here and this other room here. The fun value should have rolled it, and it didn't. Didn't spawn. You didn't get the hallway? Yes, I know. That's my point. That's my point. So I, it's got to be more complex than just editing the text file of the fun value. It's got, it's got to be something else. There's got to be another way of getting the fun values to roll. The sound test is in Snowden? Yeah, we're not after the snow test. We're after the fake hallway, which has a 100% chance to spawn. The mystery man has a 10% chance to spawn in that. Just give up on the fun value thing? Yeah, I thought so. You can't have fun when you murder? No, uh, you can't, you can't roll the... It's on the fun value wiki as well. Here, I'll show you, again. On the fun value wiki right here, 
Where is it? So there's guest as followers. There's three roles for guest as followers. There are three different thingies. Here's one of them. Here's one of them. And here's the last one. They only spawn if you have a low murder rank. They, they do not spawn if you are doing a bunch of murders. So all of the gaster stuff doesn't pop up in the genocide runs. So no fun values? Yeah, but they roll. All of the fun values roll. They roll in genocide regardless. It just has to be like, where is it? Yeah, so Clam Girl does not appear during the genocide route. Someone else reported uh, a while ago that the Gaster followers do not appear during genocide either. Also, the Goner Clam Girl, uh, the Ghost Girl, it doesn't occur during genocide either. So, fun value, I'm just going to leave it until I can guarantee that I can get every single one of them working. And maybe I'll go back and do all the fun value stuff when we play as Frisk. Because that's just really hard mode. I just arrived. How is everything going? Hello there, five hosts. We are trying to roll for the fun value rooms and they're just not rolling. I'm editing text files. It's, it's, it's not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's just push onwards. So this telescope here, it's an odd looking telescope. We can't look through it. Unlucky. Use the box. Why bother? So up here is something, right? But it's not where we want to go. Something in this chest right here. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. Good to know. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavours. Well, that's not helpful. Gonna Girl mentioned Susie as a big law point from Deltarune for some unknown reason. That's not unknown. Deltarune was written before Undertale. Undertale was uh, only written by Toby Fox and then published by Toby Fox to see if he actually had it in him to make a whole video game. That's the only reason Undertale came out before Deltarune. Deltarune was conceptualised first. How long am I going to be streaming for? Uh, quite a while. I mean, Gonna Girl clam says Susie, so... Yeah, uh, no, I'm not disputing that. That's definitely a thing. It's strangely silent. So, I, yeah, I feel like all of the fun value items and things that we see are cut, cut content, essentially. It's not canon. It's not confirmed anywhere in the game whatsoever. That's the duck. Okay, so that's how we get back. So the fun value things are neither here nor there when we start considering the base theory crafting for Undertale. When we are theory crafting, we cannot let our predisposed biases get the better of us, like Matt Pat did when he said that the mystery man is Gaster. Because if you even go onto Gaster's wiki, um, it, say, it has the, the mystery man icon right next to Gaster's uh, WD Gaster name, and it says potential character icon. And then it has another one that looks nothing like him that says potential character icon. Now, none of it's confirmed. All of this is just speculation and hearsay. I am just citing evidence that I'm finding as I find it. Those punch cards were for the ice cream? Yes, they were. Uh, unfortunately, that guy is afraid of us. Okay, we've got a fight right here. Let's go ahead and beat it to death. Nice, we one-hit it. Uh, that one did a sexy wiggle, unfortunately, which is a little bit... Didn't have to move to get around any of those. Nice, we just punched two jellies to death. I have to depart. Bye. That's okay, I don't know, Spaghettini. Uh, it was nice to have you here. It was nice to theory craft with you. Fun fact, there is some lore on how Japanese uh, ca some characters talk in Japanese. If you are referring to the phone call in uh, the Japanese edition of the game, that is in English. That phone call is in English. I recommend running from mold smalls because they give hardly any experience. Fan theories are so exaggerated, like they think Gaster is omnipotent since he got into the void. Did he though? Did he actually get into the void? Because all I've seen is evidence of Gaster uh, having an accident involving something to do with the core, which has nothing to do with the rest of the game whatsoever, the only thing that that tells us for certain, oh, Mr. Onion hasn't harassed us here either, is that Gaster did exist as the royal scientist at one point, and he was studying something dark, something about photons, which I feel, personally, I feel like that was Chris's soul. Uh, not Chris's soul, uh, Kara's soul. I feel like he was studying Kara's soul to be able to replicate it, which is why there's so many homunculi down the lab. They were trying to, like, fuse monsters together to replicate Kara's soul so that they could bust, bust through the barrier. It doesn't make sense for a scientist to be studying science in the world of magic. Like, just use magic. It's that simple. You don't need to do anything like that. They aren't that exaggerated since 80% of them have actual evidence. No, they don't. Kind of like Dark Fountain. But most of these fan theories don't have evidence. Everybody has been saying, oh, this fan theory has been... It, it, it's, a, it's a plot hole in your theory. And then I go and actually look at the fan theory and the only evidence cited... The only evidence to be cited is a YouTuber who just pulled it out of their ass. There's no evidence for any of these theories that people have uh, had across the last um, decade. Almost decade. But what we have had is 
10 years worth of head cannons and people retweeting each other. I'm so far behind with Gaster, I'm still trying to figure out his first name and stuff. Uh, it's probably Wingdings. Like, that is something I will not dispute. It's highly likely that the WD in Gaster is Wingdings. Because some people have reported that Gaster speaks in Wingdings. I'm just not going to dispute that. Simply because there are Wingdings that pop up in the game and it makes a lot of sense that, um, you know, people talk in fonts anyway. Why would that be disputed? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this music puzzle, but I'm going to do it properly this time. Because last time I did it, I sat here floundering, trying to remember the actual music itself, but if you just wait here, it tells you the notes. That was such a, a damn fart as well. I'm making a recipe book for the entire Olive Garden menu. Yeah, uh, best of luck with that. Delirium, WD equals Wingdings, or not? No, highly likely. Like, I can't specifically say, yes, it does stand for that, but it is highly likely. Has that been disproved? No, it, it hasn't been debunked whatsoever. And there are wingdings that pop up in the game. So it's highly likely. Okay, um... Doot up down, doot doot... Doot up down. No, doot up right, doot down down right. 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 Doot up... Right, doot, down, down, right. Nice! Hello there, my some clips. Yeah, so a, a lot of the people that people are saying, a lot of the things that people are saying are just like established facts that everybody knows about at this point. A lot of people that I have found from dipping my toe into this fandom for only a month is that most people who like parrot all of these theories are just absolutely full of garbage and do not have original thoughts for themselves. Yeah, we figured it out. All wingdings are in uppercase too. I don't think they change uh, based on whether or not they're uppercase or lowercase. Okay. Uh, we want to free up some of our inventory. No, we don't. We want to get rid of this annoying dog. Let's go ahead and use it. You deploy the dog. I don't know if this is relevant to anything. The dog absorbs the artifact. So that's Toby. That's Toby himself. Bye-bye, Toby. What a guy. The artifact is gone. Uh, we have a lot of dog slobber now in our, in, in, in our inventory, right? Considering that Toby Fox likes to do word games and the name the Carafers, it's possible Gaster has the name. What, Wingdings? I don't, is that actually disputed? Is anybody actually saying that that's a potential thing that could just not be the case? Let's go ahead and dance. I don't know when we find the end of this place. What if you use Hush Puppy on the dog? I, you can't use items on items in this game. So, yeah, like, from what I've seen, Gaster was working on the core. Gaster was also studying some something to do with photons. That could have actually been related to the core um, and not, you know, Kara or the, the world whatsoever. It could have actually just been trying to centralize electricity in one place using uh, heat, which can generate power. If you have, like, a vent going up one side of a water mill, then the heat can actually kind of, like, brush and turn a wheel, which generates electricity. If you get lots and lots of those, you can get a, a pretty decent uh, power farm going. So cold on one side, hot on the other side, you'll turn a wheel. I don't know how many of these ghosts we've got left to deal with, either. But yeah, Gaster was there. Gaster was studying something to do with photons. I personally believe that he was studying Kara because Asgore and Toriel wanted to break the barrier to be able to get out of the lowland, the, the dark world that they kind of live in, I feel like Asgore signed off or sanctioned Gaster to do a bunch of horrific experiments which kind of melded a bunch of these monsters together into the, the big nightmare fuel things that we see down in the lab. Toriel found out about this after some event with Kara happened that made her kind of like think, hey, Asgore and, and Gaster are up to something kind of strange. Uh, Kara died. Gaster died. I don't know if Kara pushed Gaster into the core to kind of like hide the fact that she has a blackened soul or if she did it to stop Gaster from being able to break the barrier because she would have known that it would have um, ended, you know, in the depths of all the monsters. All of this stuff, again, speculation hearsay, this playthrough with all the genocide is supposed to be the thing that really kind of solidifies whatever my theory is going to be right at the end of this. 
Toriel was against killing humans or harm them. Yes, which is why she broke up with Asgore and then moved into the ruins as the first line of defense against humans coming out. If they got past Toriel, violence would have been the only option. Toriel was kind of like the Riz, the Riz defense. Uh, that probably made her mad. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But here's the thing. We don't know how Kara died. We don't know if she went walkies. We don't know if something Gaster did led to her death because she, she got sick. I've seen that floating around on the internet and there are sources for it. We will see that in this genocide playthrough. We don't know how she died though. We don't know. We just don't know. We don't know where her soul went. Highly likely that it went into Asriel. It's highly likely Asriel absorbed uh, Kara's original soul. But again, we don't know where that went. We, ju we just don't know. Now, since Asriel is a boss monster, he also has his own uh, kind, of, kind of soul as well. Is Nightmare House uh, too soon? No, it's not. Uh, not even remotely close. I haven't even downloaded it yet. Do a real life dance? No, I don't know any real life dancers. Now, somebody did tell me that if you go through here during a genocide run, the reflection changes to Kara. I have no idea what the heck you were talking about. These are my personal theories. Uh, we already know what's established. We know about the war between the monsters and the humans. The monsters beat the hu no, the humans beat the monsters, and then the humans force all the monsters underground into the zone that we're at right now. None of that is disputed because that is in the intro cutscene of the game. Not Kara, but a different spite. Or am I wrong? You are definitely wrong. It is uh, Kara that it starts getting reflected as. Kara is the first human that falls down, and Kara is tied to the genocide route. I don't know why. I want to find out why. Because a lot of people are telling me that Kara is not inherently evil. Kara is, you know, just, just kind of like a morally grey character who just ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time during a really complex political situation between monsters as they were dealing with the loss of a war. It would have looked a lot like um, Germany after the First World War. Like, absolutely. Just bereft of any kind of wealth whatsoever. Okay, I'm happy to take these hits, by the way. I don't really care that much. And let's go ahead and uh, attack this guy once. Nice. But yeah, we have the established backstory. I feel like Deltarune kind of splits off from an alternative path from the war as well, because um, yeah, Toby Fox, as well as a lot of people, have said that uh, Deltarune is its own separate story from Undertale, so... Uh, they, they are kind of different. I feel like in Deltarune, the monsters won the war and then forced the humans underground, because in Deltarune we don't see humans, and we are a human, and maybe we were one of the ones that were either a prisoner of war or we escaped from the underground. Something like that. You know, just as it is. It'll be very interesting to have a point of view of humans. It will probably answer many questions. We're not going to have a point of view of humans. That is the whole point of these games. I feel, I feel like Toby Fox is kind of like riding on the fame of these games, not having any point of view of the humans. All right, so I'm going to do an outro for the people who watch the VODs when I record these. So don't go anywhere. I'm just going to restart the recording so that they're not really heinous to kind of watch um, on YouTube later. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Undertale that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. And down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you will be able to talk to me and my community at your leisure. And I'm always on there. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next episode that I make or the next stream you catch. Goodbye.